Good evening, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Word Wednesday time. We're giving everyone time to join in. We're about to have a wonderful time. Changing things up a little bit from Word Jeopardy to Word Family Feud. Yes, that is correct. We're doing our Family Feud tonight. Come on and join us. We're going to be playing a little different tonight. We're back to the comments so that we can communicate via the Facebook stream. We're not doing Kahoot tonight. Kahoot doesn't quite play right with Family Feud, but that's all right. We're going to have a fun time with a short game of Family Feud. It's going to be fun. I believe each and every one is going to have a wonderful time with it. We're going to give everyone time to join in. And as everyone's joining in, we're going to get ready and get going with Word Family Feud. <laughs> Let me see which way. There we go. <laughs> we're going to be playing Family Feud right down here. We're going to be playing Family Feud right down here. The Church Charlotte Edition. Everyone's joining in. We want to make sure everyone can hear us okay. Amen. As we're getting ready and join, everyone's joining in. We want to make sure everyone can hear us, and uh, we'll be getting started momentarily. I uh, want to thank God, as always, your brother, Pastor Charles Carter, the Church Charlotte family, uh, far and near. We thank God for each and every one of you being with us on this evening as we're getting ready to, to uh, get going with our word, Family Feud. We want to make sure everybody can hear us, make sure everybody could uh, hear the theme music. We're going to play the theme music one more time to give everyone time to jump in and join in and chime in. But we, as always, just thank God for uh, you being with us today and the opportunity uh, for us all to join together and continue in the study of God's word. Amen. Where We're putting a little twist on it, but it's still the study of his word. Amen. All right. Come on, let's hear that theme song one more time. Come on, band, crank it up for me. That ought to sound real familiar. We're getting ready to get started. You'll be making an answering in the comments tonight. First person to answer, and uh, with the correct answer, we're going to play along like they do on Family View. Indeed. All right. Yes, we're going to play along just like uh, they do in Family Feud. Uh, well, you know, your host, uh, we don't have Steve Harvey hosting us tonight, but, uh, you know, we got a, a, a you know, a bald head none, nonetheless. All right. <laughs> no, no suit on tonight. But uh, yes, we're going to have a wonderful time as we're giving everyone time to join in. We're going to get ready and get this kicked off. But we want to thank God for each and every one of you joining us and uh, the opportunity for you to even join us uh, as we were on location with our brothers and sisters at uh, the Universal Outreach Church of God in Christ on this past, on this past uh, Sunday. So we had a wonderful time with Superintendent Dr. Alonzo Johnson, wonderful time uh, even celebrating the birthday and retirement of First Lady Dr. Rochelle Johnson. Wonderful time. First Lady and I had an opportunity to, to do the um, MCing of that program. And my goodness, it was, a, it was a wonderful and fun program. So uh, as, as I stated, we're putting a little twist on it this evening, uh, giving everyone time to join as we get ready to play not Word Jeopardy tonight, but we're going to play a little bit of Word Family Feud. We're going to get ready and get started. Uh, the way we're going to play tonight is literally uh, we're back to answering the questions via the comments uh, so that we can play and interface uh, with the family feud game that we're getting ready to kick off here. So what we want to do is uh, if you're wanting to answer any questions, 
jump in uh, the Facebook comments here and drop your answers in the comments, okay? So drop your answers in the comments, and uh, that's the way we'll be going about it tonight and uh, keeping track of uh, those that we won't even be doing teams where, you know, Family Feud will be like Team A and Team B. Uh, it's going to be uh, first come, first serve to the answers. And uh, one of the cool things is um, some of the answers, you know, there are multiple answers uh, that the survey said. God bless you, Reverend Emmanuel Williams. Good to see you, Missionary Marion Williams and Missionary Lydia Williams. Thank God for you joining us on this evening. So we'll be going for that top answer gets the most points. So we'll be keeping track of uh, who's knocking those points out, and we'll be going from there. What did I do with my pen, y'all? Uh, you know, let me grab my pen so I can make sure I've got my my uh, my points ready here. But uh, but nevertheless. Uh, we'll be rolling just like that, okay? So as we're getting ready to get started, we're going to get, uh, we're going to kick our theme music off one more time, and then we're going to go right on in for some word family feud. As you're joining, always give us a hello and a God bless you. That we might be able to give you a hello and a God bless you right back. I'm hoping that I'll be getting some good news from Reverend Emmanuel Williams. I'm hoping I'm going to be getting some good news from Reverend Emmanuel Williams. You know, he's got two or three churches up for sale, and I keep telling him to go ahead and put one of those buildings to use and get Williams Temple open so we have somewhere to come have church. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. So, yeah, we're, as always, you know, we're, we're having fun with it. But, yes, we thank God for you all joining us. So, as we're getting ready to get started, I want you to get ready to answer these questions. I know we've got a uh, first lady that's going to be probably dropping the questions uh, or dropping the answers in for several people tonight. Uh, let us know who's giving the answer and what your answer is. Uh, we're going to be doing a survey says style tonight. So it won't be multiple choice. It won't be write your answer in. It'll just be a matter of getting uh, the, the closest to the uh, survey answers uh, to get the points. All right. All right. Well, we're about to get started here, y'all. Let's get going. As we're starting our <clears throat> tonight, we're going to get ready to bring up the board here. Let's go. All right. Now that we're at our Church Charlotte Family Feud board, we've got the church team and the Charlotte team. All right. Uh, it really doesn't matter which team you're on. You'll be gathering points uh, for yourself on tonight. So if you have a desire to join in, make sure you put your answers in the comments. We're playing Family Feud tonight. So we don't have to worry about answering in the form of a question or what have you. But we're going to be answering these questions. And uh, the first person to get the correct answer in uh, or the, uh, the, the highest ranked answer, in some instances, some of these questions have multiple answers. So whoever gets the highest ranked based on what the survey says is going to get that number of points. All right, let's go. Let's get started. <clears throat> Everybody ready? All right. Let's go. All right. Top six answers on this survey. Let's see what the first question is. Is everybody ready? All right. If you're ready, get ready to put those answers down in the comments, okay? All right, we're getting ready to get going. I'm making sure I got my, my correct question up here. All right, let's go. How many books are in the Old Testament? You got 30 seconds to start chiming in before you're gonna hear a very familiar sound. 
how many books are in the Old Testament? You got 22 seconds left. We're going to see what the survey says here in just a moment as people begin to chime in. Uh, good to see you, Sister Gabby's joining in. Reverend Emmanuel's joining in. Good to see some of those, those answers coming in. Let's see what we've got. Oh, that's Lydia chiming in. All right, we see you, Lydia. All right, Lydia says 39. Gabby says 39. All right, now we're almost up. Time's up. All right, now because we didn't have buzzers, you know, we really don't have to do the time. We're just going to check on what those answers are. Let's see what survey says for the first answer. 39. 39 was what the survey said. Uh, Layla said 39. Lydia said 39. Sister Gabby came in first with 39. So Sister Gabby gets 40 points. All right. Let's get Sister Gabby those 40 points. Now, let's see what some of the other answers that came in. Uh, now, these answers are incorrect, but let's just see what the survey says, all right? Let's see. Second most um, consistent answer was 66. Now, that's probably, you know, some of our people trying to answer fast on those surveys and uh, didn't read the question all the way out versus how many books in the Bible or how many books uh, in the Old Testament as the question asked. So, Sister Gabby wins that one. Let's see what survey, what third answer was. Third answer was 10. Fourth answer was 20. Yeah, people just guessing now on this survey now a bit, right? 22. And then the last one was one, all right? <laughs> it's one book. All right, watch out. Watch out, see, somebody going to try to get big time right there and say one book, all right? Yeah, so, all right, well, that's our first one. How do y'all, y'all getting the, the hang of it? All right, let's keep on going. We only got a few tonight, but we you just wanted to have fun as we're trying this new platform out. So, all right, let's rock and roll. Let's go. Next question, let's go. All right, top six answers uh, from the, what the survey says here also. Now, for the first one, y'all know uh, how we normally do things. Uh, you didn't have to provide a, a scripture for that one. But if somebody wants to get a bonus, you can tell us what the first and the last book of the Old Testament is. You can drop that down in the comments before we get ready for the next question. I'm going to give you a few moments to drop that in there uh, for the bonus, all right? So anybody wants to get that bonus, go ahead and drop it in there. I'm going to give you 10 seconds. And then as we, as we get ready uh, to go ahead and, ask, and uh, move forward with our next question, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to go ahead and answer that one. And you're going to hear a very familiar tone uh, when that 10 seconds is up. All right, you got five more seconds, four, or oh, 20 seconds. I'm sorry, I, get, I put 30 seconds up there, but giving everyone time. You got 20 seconds left. What's the first and the last books of the Old Testament? For the bonus, drop it in there. Making sure that we fully hear the question. First and last books of the Old Testament. All right. Let's get those in. You got a few more seconds, five more seconds. First and last books of the Old Testament. All right, our time's up. That familiar, uh, that familiar uh, uh, tone there. All right, well, it uh, looks like, you know, we had some good answers coming in there. Looks like we had Sister Gabby drop in. Uh, Layla jumped in there quick. She gave us the whole Bible. All right, come on, somebody say full gospel. Yes, indeed. Sister Gabby, I think, gets that bonus. We're going to give her that little bonus there also. Uh, the correct answer is Genesis being the first book of the Old Testament and Malachi being uh, the last book of the Old Testament. Yeah, it can get a little, it can get a little challenging, y'all, these days because we're, we're so used to um, thumbing through uh, the Bible on our apps and uh, all of those kind of things. So yeah, you have to kind of take a moment and make sure that you got it uh, jotted down there. So good job, y'all. Good job. All right, let's keep on rolling. We're going to keep on rolling. Now, next question. How long did Jesus fast? You got 30 seconds. Come on, let's get those answers in there. How long did Jesus fast? It's not necessarily a trick question or anything of that nature. We just want to know 
How long did Jesus fast? Let's see if we can get some answers chiming in here. All right. How many days? How long? All right. Good. All right. We see Sister Gabby chiming in. I wish we had that buzzer. I wish we had the the uh, the survey says ding and the buzzer chime. We would really be having a good time then, wouldn't we? All right. God bless you, Mother Terry Little. Good to see you. All right. Time's up on that. Now, let's see. We had Sister Gabby chime in. We had Lydia chime in. Looks like Sister Gabby got in there quick. Kaya got in there quick. Let's see what the survey says. Correct answer. And the, four, and, and the most correct answers given for this survey, the answer is 40. Good job. All right, we got to give Sister Gabby that one. She got 40 and she got it in first. Y'all know with Family Feud, whoever hits the buzzer first, which means whoever chimes in with the answer first, gets the points. So good job, Sister Gabby, uh, 40 points on that one. All right, let's see what else the survey says. Survey says we had a few more that came in. Someone put 39. Survey says 80. Fourth answer, survey says five. Fifth answer, survey says 12. Sixth answer, survey says seven. All right, yeah, yeah, wherever this survey came from, this these are the Church Charlotte people. Uh, the Church Charlotte crew is on top of it, amen? So we just thank God uh, for those, those killer answers coming in. Everybody got that one correct, but whoever answers first gets the points. Come on, all right, so come on, let's keep on rocking. Now, y'all know in, in Church Charlotte Word Wednesday fa uh, fashion, now you've got to give me, for the bonus, you've got to give me the scripture in verse of where you got that answer from. You got 30 seconds. Give me the scripture in verse of where you got the answer that Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Get specific. Give me the book, chapter, and verse. Not, you know, Matthew 1 through 24. You know, <laughs> no, no, not, not like that. Let's get specific. Give me the book chapter and verse and let's see what we get here go ahead and drop those 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 answers in whoever gets that bonus in correctly first you get the bonus points we got two more seconds one time's up time's up time's up all right now i didn't see any answers come in for that one i'm going to give it to you I'm going to give you 10 more seconds to see if anybody chimes in on that. But I'm going to give you the answer. All right, Gabby's chiming in. Matthew 4 and 1. We're going to get, we're going to, if there's any others coming in. All right, Layla's chiming in. Matthew 4. Uh, looks like you might be um, having a, a cut and paste issue there, Layla. Go ahead and type it in with your hands uh, so I can, I can make sure I give you credit if that's, if your answer is correct. Now, correct answer we were looking for. <clears throat> Is Matthew, the fourth chapter. Looks like everybody had that one, but we were looking for the second verse. All right. All right. Good job. Looks like Layla got that one. All right. Great job. Now, I'm going to read it in your hearing because you know we're still in Bible study. All right. So let's read it out. Matthew, the fourth chapter, second verse. Now, I'm going to start from the first verse to see uh, if we might have some extra points in here. All right. Let's start from the first verse. It says, then Jesus was led by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. That's chapter one, uh, 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 chapter four, verse one. So we don't have a specific answer there. Now let's go on to verse two. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. Come on, somebody. Somebody say that Bojangles, Popeyes, KFC special. Uh, Jesus, Jesus was hungry, y'all. Yes, he was. So, correct answer, and those bonus points go to Sister Layla. We're giving you 40 points. You get a bonus answer for that bonus, that correct bonus answer. <clears throat> for Matthew, the fourth chapter, second verse. Y'all know how we do it. We get surgical with it. Uh, we want to make sure we get the specific book, chapter, and verse to back up our answers. All right? Nothing wrong with that. It's good to have uh, an answer 
for every challenge that comes your way. That's scripture. Amen. All right. Now we're moving right along. Now we're wrapping up here, y'all. But we got uh, another good one here. Let's jump in and see what this next uh, question is. Everybody ready? Let's go. All right. There's only one answer for this one. <laughs> All right. So you don't have to worry about uh, too much going on with the survey. This one, this go round, we got one answer. All right. So let's get ready and see uh, what that question is. Is everybody ready? All right. Question is, what was Jesus's job before his ministry started? Come on, I'm going to give you some time here. Go for it. What was Jesus's job before his ministry started? Come on, somebody said Jesus had a job. Lord have mercy. Woo! Oh, my goodness. Uh, that's messing with somebody's spirit tonight. Uh, yeah, Jesus had a job. Yes, he did. And then when ministry got started, he went full time. Watch out. Come on, here's somebody. All right, let's see those answers. Yeah, Layla's chiming in. All right, Jesus was a carpenter. Gabby chiming in. Jesus uh, was a carpenter. All right, God bless you. Uh, Missionary Jackie Jackson, good to see you. All right, we've got those answers coming in. We've got 10 more seconds. Uh, uh, who's that? All right, we got we got more people chiming in. Uh, Says Jesus was a, was a carpenter. All right, G good job. That's Kaya. I think, you know, somebody's typing that in wrong or whatever. All right. Now we're giving, let's see uh, what that answer was. We got five more seconds. There you go. All right. Here it comes. Familiar sound is about to chime. All right. <laughs> that doesn't mean you got it wrong. That just means we're out of time. We, you know, the time's up. All right. Let's see what the survey says. What does the survey say? Survey says that Jesus, his job before his ministry started was he was a carpenter. All right, great job, great job. Got to give that 70 points for Layla answering that one first, I believe. Good job, Layla. All right. Now, let's see where we are. Because you know, as we go, the points get higher. All right, now, here's our final. Uh, family feud, I was about to say word jeopardy, but our, our, our word family feud question for the night. We need scripture and verse, book, chapter, and the specific verse that backs up your answer for Jesus's profession before uh, his ministry started. All right, we're giving you 30 seconds. Come on, let's see what we can do, y'all. Let's go ahead and get that answer and see what we got. We're going to give you 30 seconds. Let's go. All right. We need book, chapter, and verse. Being that we're in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. If we're talking about Jesus, we're usually going to be in those Gospels, especially when we're talking about his time on the earth. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And you know in many instances, when we talk about the Gospels, we'll see varying accounts in each in various books so you got a couple that you can grab from let's see what we got coming in all right all right i see zaria chiming in uh make sure you type that in it looks like the cutting and paste might might not be coming through i don't know if it's just me uh what i'm seeing in the comments or not but yeah let's uh let's make sure you're typing that in uh so we can make sure we see it all right i see sister gabby chiming in i see zaria chiming in we're seeing uh, yep, Zaria chiming in again. All right. This one's worth 100 points, y'all, to wrap up the evening. Come on, let's see what we got. How much time we got? We got three more seconds. All right, we're up. All right, let's see what we got. All right, I believe that was, um, Zaria, yeah, Zaria was trying to put, I guess, Mark 6 and 3 is what that was. Uh, Gabby put in Psalm 23 and 1. Gabby also put in, Mark 6 and 3, Zaria put in uh, Matthew 13 and 55. The two primary scripture texts that we were looking at were Mark 6 and 3. 
Good job, Zarya. And Matthew 13 and 55. Now, let's read through these and see what we got. All right. It, won't, it doesn't hurt to take a look and dig deep in the scriptures. How about that? All right. So let's see what we got here. Uh, I'm going to jump back here. <clears throat> so we're giving that as far as the answers we were looking for, that bonus, those bonus points go to Zaria for, Ma for Mark 6 and 3 for the first correct answer. But let's take a look and see what we got here. First one we had, Psalm 23 and 1. Now, 23rd Psalm ought to be pretty familiar. Let's jump in here and see what we got. And it reads, Psalm 23 and 1, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Now, that's a good argument to put out there. That was, uh, you know, was Jesus considered a shepherd or, or what have you? Well, uh, but not, so as far as answering the question about being a carpenter, uh, Psalm 23 and 1 does not quite get there for us. But that's a good, that's, that's good dig, digging into the scriptures. You say, well, Jesus was a shepherd. He was, he was working at that even before his ministry started. All right. I can see some of my theologians waxing eloquent here on that one. But that first answer, all right, that we were looking for. Sister Zaria got that one. Mark 6 and 3. Let's jump and check that one out in the New Testament. Y'all caught that little hint there that I was throwing out about talking about Jesus and his time on, in the earth. We're going to most likely be talking about the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. All right. Zaria grabbed that and jumped in there on Mark 6 and 3. Let's read it. Mark 6, chapter, third verse reads, isn't this the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James, Joses, Judas, and Simon. Aren't his sisters here with us as well? And they took offense at him. All right. The context of that is when Jesus is in Nazareth and receiving rejection from his home folk. You know how they always say, you know, uh, it's, it's usually hardest to be received at home. I'm going to read the context of that. Starting at the first verse, it says, Jesus went on from there and came to his hometown, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished. Where did this man get these ideas, they asked? What is this wisdom he has been given? And how can he perform such miracles? Verse three, here it is. Isn't this the carpenter, the son of Mary? My goodness. All right. So that's Mark six and three. Now, as we jump down, uh, we had another one that came in also from Sister Zaria, Matthew 13 and 55. That was the other one that we were looking for. We're going to give Zaria 50 points for that one. Um, because no, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, because she actually dropped both of them in there. I'm gonna drop in there 50 more points for Sister Zaria for grabbing both of them. All right, Matthew 13 and 55. Let's see what we got. And it reads, I'm going to start at verse 53. This is Matthew's account that we just read in Mark. The rejection at Nazareth in many instances is what it's referenced as. Starting at verse 53, this is what it reads. When Jesus had finished these parables, he withdrew from that place, coming to his hometown. He taught the people in their synagogue, and they were astonished. Where did this man get such wisdom and miraculous powers, they asked. Isn't this the carpenter's son? Isn't his mother's name Mary? And aren't his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? That's verse 55. So Matthew 13 and 55 is also another correct answer. Good job, Zaria, in grabbing all of those first uh, in this situation for this answer. All right. Well, looks like we've got all of our answers in, we're about to do a quick tally and see 
where we line up. All right. I'm going to jump back and get our theme music to play here one more time while we tally up the answers. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> All right, we've got, as we get started, Sister Gabby coming in with 120 points. Two correct answers at number one and a bonus at uh, on, on the first question. For 40 points each, 120 points. Now we've got Sister Layla coming in with 110 points with two correct answers at number one. And last but not least, we've got, uh, as we get to the bonus and to the, you know, to the last questions, we had our number one answer for 100 points answered by none other than Sister Zaria and a bonus for the second correct scripture for a total of 150 points. For our winner for this evening, Sister Zaria, come on, give Zaria a hand. Great job, great job, Zarya. All right, great job, great job. All right, well, as always, y'all, y'all know we love to keep uh, keep having a great time when it comes to our Word, uh, time in the Word on Word Wednesdays. And as we continue to, to move through uh, the remainder of this summer, we're gonna keep on keeping on and uh, keep on uh, coming at you with some great, opportunity to have fun in his word. We want to say God bless you. If you don't know Christ as your Savior today, ask him into your heart. Say, Father, I know I'm a sinner. Save me right now. I'm confessing with my mouth. I'm believing in my heart that you died for my sin. I believe right now that I'm saved according to your word. If you pray that prayer, you're amongst the household of faith. Connect with the church, Charlotte. Connect with the church, Charlotte, that we might be able to take this walk together. It's nothing like doing it together. Uh, only the enemy wants us to feel as if we have to or that we have to do this thing alone. If you were with us on, on Sunday, we read in scripture clearly that he has work for us to do in the earth. Not just, just me and Jesus. No, no, no. We've got work to do together. So we want you to come and join us at the church, Charlotte. We've got many things coming up for the month of, of, uh, of August. Uh, we'll be with our brothers and sisters uh, at the University Place Nursing and Rehabilitation Center second Sunday. We'll be at our church location uh, fourth Sunday. Uh, and then we'll be with our I'm sorry, we'll be at our church uh, location third Sunday, and we'll be with our brothers and sisters at University Place uh, fourth Sunday. Uh, we're going to actually be with family this coming Sunday. Uh, we're having a little uh, church service uh, right with our family reunion with the Martin Foundation right here in Charlotte, North Carolina at the Great Wolf Lodge in Concord. You can come join us Sunday morning if you'd like. Come on and join us as we have our service there this coming Sunday. All right. Yeah, we all over the place. Good gracious, aren't we? Amen. All right. So if you're in, if you're in town, uh, you want to come jump in the pool at the Great Wolf Lodge, you're going to get in contact with me. I might have a pass or two for you. But come and join us this coming Sunday for our service right at the Great Wolf Lodge at, um, uh, at 10 a.m right at the Great Wolf Lodge Conference Center. Uh, if you want, if you would be interested in joining us, get in contact with us so that uh, we can have you come and be a part. All right, y'all, have a blessed week. Declare the remainder of your week blessed. I know you say, well, I done made it to Wednesday. I'm gonna just try to coast this thing out. No, God has wonderful things in store at any time. So make sure you don't uh, allow the, the week to be over before God's done with it. Amen. Oh, he's got marvelous things. Amen. I can hear the old hymn singers singing it. He's done marvelous things. Yes, he has. Amen. Look for those marvelous things. And I guarantee you, God's going to bless you. All right. Have a blessed week. We'll see you real soon. And we look forward to seeing you back here for Word Wednesday next week.
God bless.